that talk, I walk, not walk, you see the king of me. Hey sis, and welcome back to another video. It's your girl here, Ajane, for those who don't know me. And I post all faith, beauty, fitness, fashion, lifestyle, that girl's content quality, okay? And it is the holy girl's gang over here, yes ma'am so before we get into this video as always make sure you like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel hit that thumbnail notification so you can stay up to date for any time i post any new videos okay because you don't want to miss the beat you want to stay on top of all the content okay i got my big girl coat on and celsius for the morning peach vibes gives the vibes if you never had the peach vibe highly recommend so good this is probably like my favorite one actually but i got the celsius hold on we gotta do our celsius cheers for the morning clink clink so as you can see from the title we are doing a productive day in the life with ajane today is kind of a little bit of a busy day very productive though it is 9 22 i really need to go but i did want to just kind of like check in for the morning with you guys let you know what's going on because i am kind of running behind i was supposed to wake up at like at least 7 a.m go to the gym for at least like 30 minutes to an hour come back around 8 hop in the shower get ready for the day and be ready by like nine because i'm going to church at 11 so and you know me you know us girls we do take some time to get ready so i am getting ready to head out so i am gonna tap back in with you guys tomorrow and kind of update you guys on the itinerary or is it itinerary i think it's itinerary so yeah i'm gonna update you guys when i get home for the itinerary for the day because we are we gotta move with a purpose okay so i'm gonna catch you when we get home to this i can't talk this morning i'm gonna catch you when i get home sis okay Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back. So what I'm doing right now, I am quickly, quickly getting ready for church. Not gonna lie, I am running a little bit behind with my day because I woke up at 7.40 something. The goal was to wake up at seven o'clock on the dot, get to the gym, 7.20, 7.15, them like around eight something, come back getting ready and stuff like that do my makeup i'm still gonna do all that stuff i'm just i really gotta like you know i was probably gonna bring my son with me but i have him behind so i won't be able to bring him with me i just won't have enough time to get him ready and stuff like that so so i said that when i came back home i was gonna kind of let y'all know the itinerary for the day oh shoot just dropping everything so yeah, basically today, like I said, is gonna be a productive day in my life. And I am really just trying to set um, some new healthy habits for myself. And that consists of me like going to bed early, waking up early. I didn't really do exactly all that I wanted to do for the morning. Like I wanted to wake up early. I wanted to start off with doing like some daily gratitude, doing my Bible study, and just kind of prepare and also planning my day. That's kind of like how I want to start doing my mornings. Like on the weekends, wake up a lot more earlier. Wake up really early, like around 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning. Get up, daily gratitude, journal, Bible study. Get ready for my day, go to the gym. Go to the gym for like an hour and then come back. Get ready for the day and do what I need to do. That's kind of like my routine. And being consistent with that for six months. I am prepping to do a six month sprint starting January. I'm already just staying consistent in general, like right now, but for starting January 1st, seriously, just a sprint of like doing my best to miss no days. Do not mind my little stain right here, because it is what it is, but literally doing my best with literally sprinting for six months, consistent with the gym. My goal is to be in the gym six days a week, one day off. I feel like that's very much doable since I go to the gym on my lunch break, so. Um, gym every day, Monday, gym Monday through Saturday. Take a Sunday rest. I need to get me a curling iron. I'm getting one this weekend. Um, what else is my goal? Staying consistent with posting schedule, having like a consistent posting schedule for YouTube, po a consistent posting schedule for um, marketing my business. Um, Shape of May Fitness will be launched next year. Um, nine times out of 10, I'll probably be ready to launch her by towards the end of January, beginning February. That is my goal. So we already locked in on a new logo. I already have the um, apparel that I want to launch with. Um, so we're it's getting in the works. I still have a couple more legalizing that I need to do with the business, but that's easy. Um, yeah, I'm just super excited about that. I need to go clean my beauty blender, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got my beauty blender washed. I need some new makeup brushes. That is a, 
another new thing. I need the all new makeup brushes. But yeah, girl, so that is some of my new year goals for myself. So like reading more, like I am also gonna be like distancing myself from like social media a little bit more. Now, I'm still gonna be posting, but what I typically do is like I'll post and then I'll just stay scrolling on social media. Like I scroll way too much to the point where I'm just like on it. I'm scrolling for at least 30 to 40 minutes sometimes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Now there's nothing wrong with checking up on people, you know, getting some inspo, getting inspired. But I feel like you gotta start timing yourself, like paying attention to how long you are interacting with certain things, especially if it's not adding any value to you. Like social media does add value, but not if I'm sitting over here scrolling to the point where now I'm starting to compare myself. Now I'm starting to get discouraged because I see everybody out here glowing up and walking in their, their dreams. That's what happens when you stay a little bit too long on social media, you start comparing yourself, you start just getting in that little trance of just watching everything when you could have been reading a book for those 15 minutes for, or for that 20 minutes or for that 30 minutes you could have been watching a, a sermon to you know get, draw yourself closer to God or you could have been educating yourself on a, a business talk on how to start your business or on how to grow your business or how to grow your YouTube channel or how to start cooking journey or whatever it is for you you know like I'm just like really dialing in more on self-improvement and just really just watching I indulge in sometimes and sometimes I can overindulge myself on social media and that's not okay especially if it's not benefiting me so that's another thing so I've been making sure that okay if I'm on social media I'm only gonna be posting and I'm only going and then I'm gonna get off now if I now it's okay to you know see what people are doing for but I need at least you know a good five minutes max and that's it so every time I catch myself scrolling too much I'm alright I'm read a book time to educate myself or time to work on editing that video time to work on brainstorming some content ideas or brainstorm brainstorming some new marketing strategies whatever you know there's always something that i can do that can improve myself that can improve my self-growth that i can that can improve my relationship with christ so that i can be improving my business growth whatever so that has been another thing that i've been noticing and that i really want to change for next year so if you see me posting too much or I'm posting here and there is because your girl is dialing in. She's working on some stuff. I have a lot of things this year that I have started that I have not been working on. I have a lot of new ideas that I want to bring to life this upcoming year. So it's like, I can't be wasting my time just scrolling on social media when I could be using that time to be working on what I started. So I just know I have a lot a lot to do for next year and i'm really excited you know how they say go ghost for a year or for six months or however long and then pop back like a whole new you that's literally the vibe it's giving now i ain't gonna go ghost on y'all my goal is to actually be a lot more consistent even though i've been consistent since i've started but just finding new strategies on how i can grow new new people to the family you know what i'm saying like i need to work on growing my tiktok well, anyways girl that is kind of like my new year's resolution like i'm just really excited for what next Next year is going to hold for me like i got so much stuff that i'm working on and preparing for some things that i can't i'm not gonna speak about it now because i don't want to say nothing just yet and it don't happen but i believe it's gonna happen i just gotta really stay consistent with those things and believe god that he's working on those things and i know he is because today is gonna be a busy day it's also very foggy outside today so it looks a little gloomy but guess what i don't care if it looks gloomy I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if it's snowing. Baby, I'm getting done when I need to get done. Starting this week, I'm showing up as that girl for myself. For the past week, maybe two, maybe two weeks, I think I have not been like wearing makeup. And I don't need to wear makeup. But I ain't gonna lie though, it makes me feel like I'm showing up. Like I feel like my higher self. Even though like my higher self don't, she don't need to wear makeup, but she likes to wear makeup because it enhances her beauty. But don't get it twisted, she's beautiful without it. But it just, I don't know, it's just, when I come home, I still have things that I need to work on. Cause I'm slaving for people. I'm slaving for a job every single day, which takes away time away from me to be able to do what I need to do for my business and for my goals. But we can't let that be the excuse. We still have to find a way to still be able to do, to still be able to pursue our goals and our dreams and the things that the Lord needs us to do. We still have to find a way to make time. I've been planning every single day, this is what I need to do when I come home. But I've also realized what I need to start getting back into, time blocking because I know how I am when it comes to editing. <laughs> Cause girl, 
If you're a content creator, then you already know. It is so easy to like overindulge in content and just be editing for hours. And sometimes it's called to edit for hours, but when you don't have time to be editing for three hours straight right after you got off from work, and you know you're on a time schedule and you gotta be in bed by a certain time. Like you cannot just be sitting there and just editing until 12 knowing you gotta get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Mm -mm. So if I have to come back home, so my thing is when I come home, I need to, I need to, I can only edit for a certain amount of time. That is something that I have to get back into because I'm coming into this new area and I'm pretty, and I mentioned this in my last vlog, that I'm coming into a new era. I'm coming into this new womanhood for myself, if that makes sense. My content is gonna be a little bit more focused on self-improvement, becoming like that girl in Christ, like healthy habits, like productiveness, and just that girl for yourself. Like that's kind of the kind of content I'm kind of transitioning to, which is kind of what I was posting a little bit, but I don't know. So I'm thinking of some new ideas on how I wanna move about that. My sister called me. Hello, my sister. Hey. What you doing? Ooh, this lace look a lot more melted than normal. <laughs> TT, what you crying for? <laughs> Mommy's trying to get ready. Look at your auntie. Hi, Matthew. Why are you crying? You look up on mama. <laughs> Say hi to your aunties. Say hi, aunties. Hey. <laughs> okay, Mommy gonna put you down. She's trying to get ready. Mm -hmm. What up, mom, dude? Hey, what you doing? Mom, dude. Hey, what you doing? 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 Hey, what you I need a job lined up. <laughs> I be sending you. I be sending you the jobs, mama, but you don't be willing to apply for them. But yeah, we, and then I told you, like, we need to be trying to come out here. Or, um, we can go get a house in Texas. I ain't coming to no dang Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Texas. Well, then, you know what? I'm saying, Because we going to be going to Texas. And we may come back. Bring our access No, I your butt don't want to come out here. You know you belong out here. Don't want to go all the way over there in the first place. You better tell Buster to start power tapping some money and send Cole here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys record grandma on us when she tell me the story about her pedicure. She told me last night I was dying laughing. Well, what story? Her Miss Verna went to get pedicure and they told Miss Verna they was doing the hot rocks and lathering her all up with the wax and all that. They told me they barely, the dude barely wanted to touch grandma's feet. He told me her um, toenails were so long when he cut a piece off and fell on his hand. So she today think about wearing like my little black top with these little jeans oh smack these bell bottomed uh bright blue jeans and my little favorite leather trench coat trench no what do you call? i don't even know i'm not about to waste my time trying to pronounce it this is what i'm wearing so hopefully it gives what it's supposed to give i'm gonna put that on be right back I do kind of wish this was like a bodysuit, kind of cropped, but as long as these pants covers up my tummy, we Gucci. Ooh, but that stomach is, it's closing in, girl. The stomach is getting smaller. This is the fit, black little trench jacket, bell bottom pants, and then some black booties would have been perfect, but I ain't got no black booties. Not really sure what kind of shoes I'm gonna wear. We gonna figure it out, but this is what I'm wearing. 
Lace is melted. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> we do not want a camel toe. Oh, heck no. Hold on. Malfunction wardrobe. All right, so fix my outfit. I'm about to go in with my spray. I'm about to go in with my Valentino. This is my signature scent. Love this scent. Absolutely. I love the to-go one so I can freshen up whenever I need to. I have my fit together. I'm wearing black Crocs because like I said, I ain't got no wedges. I got my purse. It's the purse I'm wearing today. And I'm about to go grab my stuff that I need for after church because after church, I'm going to go edit at like a little cafe for a little bit, get some work done, and then we'll be coming back home. So catch you at church. Commit your life to I trust you to be my savior and my lord, and I fire myself from trying to save myself. You and only you can save this human being. And as I prayed and invited him into my heart, I became a new creation in Christ Jesus because this is the ultimate promise. Life after death is real. And Jesus wants to spend for all of eternity with you through a relationship with him today. John 3.16 gets a lot of airplay. You know what doesn't get a lot of airplay? Verse 17. Totally ripped off all the time, and it's a powerful scripture. Listen to what it says. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. In this, but I met plenty of people that they grew up in a harsh religious environment, the do's and do nots, and, and it was so harsh and condemning. The Bible says he didn't come to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. One time in the Bible, Jesus stands up and he says, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. And that's what he's doing over your life today. Hey, Chris, you going okay, oh God, look, back with my sister. My sister, sister. Hello. Sister, sister. <laughs> Pressure? Uh uh. He's a uh, gospel rapper. Oh, uh, gospel rap? Yeah, that was a Over. Yeah. Breaker. Be like I can walk on water, let me touch the You better go. Listen, let's do what the finish is. Run over what the devil said. Things like don't trip. We're gonna make the boat tip. What? With that ice. What? Your grandma be twerking. What? Your grandma be twerking. I'm on my makeup in Jesus. Christian rappers or like the gospel singers want to come over this way and have a freaking concert. Yeah, and one time we tried to see Bizzle and it canceled. We need, to, we need to tell him that he needs we to need come to back. We need to tell him. No, for real. Get over here. We the drops. Please, please. We the drops. You love some Christian you hear this Bizzle? Do. <laughs> what you say? You hear this Bizzle? We need you. Please, bring it back here. We come please. back here. Please. Please. You need to run that back. on Instagram. Right. Hit us on the DM. Right we'll on something. Out. Run it back. I, I, Ask my church. Listen, I tied every week, yes. every or not every week. Twice a month. <laughs> I tied twice a month. I give them all this money. For real. They better pay for you to come out here. Seriously, something. I was on one of Portia Loves live, and I was like, "Please come out here." She's like, "She's like, I'll come out there." She's like, "You ask your church, ask your pastor to invite me." I need you to tag Biz on this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tag him. Tag him because he, he he. I don't get on Instagram like that, but he follow me. He yeah. Follow you. Yep. Yeah, I will personally him. DM him because he be watching my stories. So Big I'm like, bro, hey, Biz. Come on, brother. I need you. Anyway. You, okay. you just said in my voice, I'm an old black woman. It's because I'm gonna drop. A spirit drop. I love my church. I love it, but we need a little more gangsta. We need a little bit more. A little, little thug. Thugnificent. You thugnificent. Thugnificent. Not I'm, from Boondocks. <laughs> Is that from Boondocks? <laughs> I got that from my man. I don't That's from Boondocks. Oh, he fake. He not original. Oh, he is not original. Magnificent. Magnificent also. I'm calling him <laughs> you out. You need to tell him to stop saying like this. I'm calling him no, out. Listen. Save this because I'm sending it to Will you, you we can crop this out? Yeah. I'm sending it to him. Tell him can to you, stop saying Thugnificent. Baby, you fake. Because Thugnificent. You fake. That was not original, boo. I still love you, but that was not original. Oh, he thought he was so cool when he did that. I was all laughing. <laughs> I was so impressed. I was so impressed. Wow. It's okay, boo. It's okay.
You come around. Thug you got a lot of kicky. Was a play gangster who liked kissing boys. <laughs> he got kissed by a gangster <laughs> and he loved it. Baby, don't use that no more. Don't use it no don't more. Don't say that no more. Don't use Maybe it no more. Maybe he didn't know because my man's a man. I don't like boys. Yo, that's good. You, know, you better not. <laughs> Let me see her. Booty butt cheeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Say it, booty butt cheeks. That's the song they be listening to. See booty butt cheeks. Thug never said. Booty butt cheeks. <laughs> Remember you told me about, you told me about booty hoes. And I was like, booty hoes. Don't say that. My man gonna see this. You hear that? <laughs> Baby, don't you ever. Mention ever in your life, tell me to call you no thugs never sitting there again. <gasps> Baby, don't do that ever again. Shampoo. Booty, booty, butt, what? <laughs> booty, butt, cheeks. Oh, that was funny. That was real funny. Where your car at? Oh, right over there. Oh. By the dumpster. By the dumpster. <laughs> By the dumpster. <laughs> Mm. They, it was so Why packed. You to Listen, it was. Did, you know they used packed. to do that to black people. They gonna go ahead and just get on the back of the bus. It was packed. You know, you don't even gotta like do the most. I'm gonna do it. Right. I'm gonna mind your business. Okay, do what you do. Boo. I got this. Do what you do. Boo. This is oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, there you go. Hey, girl. So I'm just now leaving church. I'm only come on here for just a moment, just to kind of catch y'all up. As y'all can see, I was hanging out with my sister. That's my sister. I haven't seen her in forever. So, um, but yeah, I need to go and do just a little bit of some editing at a cafe. Cafe, this cafe that I really want to try so I'm only gonna be there for just maybe like an hour maybe like 45 minutes or so because I do need to have enough time to go home and wash my clothes and kind of just get the home looking nice and cute whatever also don't really have really any battery on here so I'm not even sure how much I'm gonna be able to record so that's why I just don't, am tapping in with y'all for just a moment so I'm only probably gonna get a couple of clips while I'm um, gonna be at the cafe getting some work done but yeah that's what I'm about to do so we are about to head there You know what? I'm sick of it. I am so frustrated because what the absolute freak. I literally had a whole intro of coming back. Basically this last clip that I just recorded is gone. How, why, I don't know how. I was basically folding my clothes, putting my clothes away and now the clip is gone. <sighs> You gotta just love content creating, you gotta, you gotta just love it. So basically it is 4.37 right now. I started at four o'clock. I also read y'all my itinerary for the day. And really, <laughs> this is my itinerary. I already completed a majority of it because we a productive girl over here, okay? I still need to make my bed and put the pillowcases back on my pillows, which I should have done weeks ago, but I've been lazy. So I need to do that. After that, I'm going to cook dinner meal prep meal prep for the following day that's that's what i'm supposed to do that's it but anyways i'm just gonna show y'all a clip of me basically just basically just gonna make my bed put my pillowcase on right now i'm currently watching one of my favorite youtube girlies <sighs> time to close these blinds y'all like 
My blinds is messed up, girl. y'all bed is me y'all it's time for a new bed set it's time for uh bed bedboard bed frame all of that bed set like it's time for it's time to redo my home room like my room is just so <sighs> my vision board that gotta go i'm gonna keep that though i want to keep all the vision boards that i made i don't know i just feel like it but i need to get rid of my vision board it's time to start putting some wallpaper up i need a whole new mirror because the mirror that i have is so small and so skinny this upcoming year i'm focusing on redoing my room <sighs> like like, I don't like this on the wall. This blue is just, it's gotta go. Okay. We can go ahead and check. I do low-key want to remove my room around, but I'm not sure. Like, I want to put it back, like, how I had it before. Like, my bed was over here, and then my TV was right here. And then I'm going to move the baby's bed over by the window. That's what I was thinking. But if I do that, I'm not going to have anywhere to put this desk. If I move my bed back to where it was and my baby's bed over there. I'm not gonna have a space for my desk. So to be honest, I'm gonna have to keep it this way because it actually, I have more room this way, unfortunately. So I need to start getting ready for dinner because if I don't start now, I'm definitely not gonna wanna start later. I'm supposed to be posting my birthday vlog actually. It was supposed to go up on Saturday, but it's been a busy weekend. And for some reason, CapCut, my editing software has just been tripping lately. It's just, I could've, I don't even want to think about it, but I'm not rushing it because like I said, when I rush my content, it never turns out how I want it. So when I take my time, my content always comes out really good. So I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush it. But by the time y'all see this, y'all already have seen it. But I'm just apologizing because it hasn't been posted yet. So but anyway, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and head to the kitchen. So hi, here, my doggy. kitchen now i am about to make some salmon rice broccoli keeping it very simple nothing too crazy i got a trout steelhead always make sure you wash your fish so i just washed it about to go in with my seasonings seasoning salt garlic seasoning pepper and this is my tacoma boys the cajun spice some salt Asian seasoning. Slap that on there very good, very nicely. Then we're gonna add some of this garlic black pepper. Never heard of garlic black pepper. So we're gonna add that on there. I like to add water. Something about adding water, I don't know, just makes it fish taste really good. So add a little bit of water around it. Not too much. If you add too much, then the fish takes forever to cook literally but just enough because i feel like it keeps the fish from being dry i have like one little piece i don't really like this butter to be honest not my favorite but it is what it is i cut up some onion don't really need that much but cut up just a little bit don't really need that many oh dang don't mess with the nails now i make my slices like that i don't know what to do with this don't mind the dishes in the back i know i need to do that Typically, I will add lemons as well, but there's no lemons. It's just a little cute little wine glass with some ice. <gasps> My ice ain't ready, though. Barely ready, but I'm about to start making mocktails, y'all. Once I find the recipes, I'm going to start making them, but I'm about to just pour me some little Snapple Kiwi in a cute little wine glass cup. So... Got it. <laughs> Don't need a man for what? <laughs> Please. It's gonna pour me a cute little drink. Cute little drink. This kiwi strawberry snapple is very good. It tastes like it has a hundred grams of sugar. That's how sweet it is. But it's only 22 grams, which which still is a lot, 90 calories, but. Put this in 
the oven for 20 minutes. All right, girl, so next I'm about to make, don't laugh at me because I'm making baked macaroni and cheese, but from, I'm making refrigerator baked mac and cheese. What about it? What about it? It's still good. Now I know how to make mac and cheese, but this time tonight we making it from the box. But yeah, girl, if you never have this baked mac, this refrigerator mac and cheese is really good. Put it in the oven. You can put it in the oven and you can put it in the microwave, but who wanted microwave? That's that's extra, extra lazy. Yep, add some extra salt and pepper on it. Socked up, it be socked up. Let's open this up. Ooh, and it really don't take long to make like your own mac and cheese. It really doesn't, you just boil noodles. Get a bag of cheese and get however else you wanna make it. Put it on top, put it in the oven. We're gonna add some low moisture park skim mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna let this sit in the oven for about maybe 10 minutes. Put this open. One fourth of a cup. We got our measuring stick right here. So, let's go ahead and add the broccoli. Um, baby is down for bed. After I eat, I'm gonna find an interesting movie to watch and then I need to read my Bible gratitude journal because I didn't do that that early this morning. And then we gonna end the video off after that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna check back in with you guys once the food is done because that's pretty much it. There's nothing else to do. I just need to wash the dishes. So I guess I can kind of do a little montage of me cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. So let's do that. the mac and cheese it looks so good so i'm about to dive in about to put on a show flipping through netflix right now i do not know what the heck i want to watch i hope y'all can see me hopefully the lighting is giving something but i need to try this because i didn't really eat today mm. mac and cheese though bomb now let's try the salmon and yes i'm using my son's fork salmon is good you guys Um, please, I can't stand my blinds looking like that. It's so ghetto. It's this little man's fault. It's your fault, TT. What you have to say about it, TT? What you have to say about it? It is 7.49. I'm about to go ahead and do some Bible studying. I'm about to go ahead and read in my solo message. It's a devotional. It, you read the devotional, think, pray, and you live it out. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Typically, I normally do um, a devotional from the Bible app, but just kind of going through some of the stuff that I have, just kind of switching up my Bible study readings. Um, so I'm going to read my Bible study out of this, and then I'm going to jot down. I'm going to use my soap method template that I created on my tablet. I'll write that out on my tablet. So you want to phone so bad, but guess what? You ain't going to get one. My soap method. <laughs> you want to get down? You're not about to take my phone though. Here, look, this. Ooh, Mommy's about to do her Bible study. Look. Say thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> Sit down, free hurt yourself. Okay, girl, I am done reading my Bible. It is time for me to go to bed because it is 
It's 8.40. It's 8.42. Today was a good day. Very protective. I did just about almost everything that I wanted to do on my itinerary. Only thing that I didn't do was clean my car. Instead of cleaning my car, we came home and cleaned up. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. So without further ado, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Hit that thumb bell notification so you can stay up to date for whenever I post any new videos, okay? And your girl is gonna see you on the next video. I love y'all, God bless. And I'm gonna see you on the next one. Bye, girl.